As part of the Curated By project by uh, Departure, which is a city agency um, in Vienna, I was invited by Knoll Gallery to um, respond to a brief of the question, why painting now? Um, and as part of this project, 20 curators across Vienna were invited to curate exhibitions, um, somehow responding to this question. I chose to work with a young um, artist based in the UK, Jelena Popova, and I was very interested in the way she engages with the medium of painting, both through the way she treats um, the, the work itself, the canvas itself, but also through the way that she installs. Um, so together we began to discuss how to go about this project and selected a number of works. And now I would like to ask Yelena a number of questions about how she has seen this process. So Yelena, um, within the context of Curated By and the question, why painting now, what was most interesting for you and how have you found your own way to respond to this brief and has it been an interesting um, topic for you to work with? When we had our conversation you were originally interested in um, the notion of invisible and um, for me making an invisible painting is something um, quite a challenge really. Um, so both of these projects, they are named and uh, the portrait gallery, um, respond to this um, idea of invisibility. So in Unnamed, uh, we talk about um, the secret town which, and the um, nuclear disaster. And as you know, radiation is unseen. So how do we realize, how do we understand, how do we make sense of the disaster which is unseen? That was the main question of the video. In few words, the invisible man proposed two ways of making human body invisible through reorienting its molecular structure to the of Sodom, and his wife, who surveyed the order not to look back and was turned into a pillar of salt. In the portrait gallery, I was interested in the image which withdraws from the canvas. So imagine um, what happens, like the abstraction uh, which actually goes or disappears or becomes invisible. And I was working with um, uh, traditional old master's portraits and actually the notion of portraiture, what does it mean um, in back then and what does it mean now? Uh, and how especially the portraiture is collected and presented in stately houses or um, national collections and how it reflects uh, power and wealth. Mm. So making the portraits withdrawn, I, I can't really say invisible because we can see things, but making them withdrawn or abstracted, um, that was the part of that thinking. That actually brings me on to the next question, which is to do with how you install your work. You have a very specific way of installing, which makes them more of an installation of paintings rather than paintings themselves, by themselves. Could you talk a little bit about this process and what is the logic, what is the thinking behind this very specific way of installing? Well, in my um, reflection on what is painting, I try to think about the places and spaces and contexts where painting exists. So we usually see painting in the gallery, or we see painting in the collector's house uh, on the wall, or we see paintings in the artist's studio, or in the warehouse, or in the art fair. So, and all these contexts are quite specific, and they talk a lot about painting, what it actually is as an object and how it uh, functions. And I'm specifically interested in that. But the way I install is um, something quite, I don't know, you, you can talk about the failed utopias or something quite uh, degraded. Um, so painting become, becomes an object and may, may be failing in some point um, and being stored as an object. So you can't really escape by, by looking at the way um, it's installed that you're not looking at just image. You look at the canvas, you, you can see the canvas, you can see the frame, you can see bits of furniture. So it's all very important to me and I, I believe it kind of creates the wider picture for, for the painting.